I'm Valerie Malone, life coach, motivational speaker, creator of Love Your Life program. And today I wanted to talk about why goal setting is so important when it comes to your success. And the reason I wanted to talk to you guys about goal setting is because 2021 is here. And I know a lot of you uh, lovely people are already setting a goal and trying to achieve the goal. And I, last week I talked about that as well. And I want to continue talking about this. And the reason for that is because we must continue doing it because a lot of time what do we do is that we have this goal we set up the goal we get all energetic in the first uh, beginning of the year and then we're so excited we wanted to accomplish our goal but then unfortunately as the time passes by and then we kind of go down back to our comfort zone and we don't get the result we're looking for so that's why I want to continue like talking about that just to remind you that if you have set a goal already for 2021, great for you, but keep up with it. And if you have not, I wanted to tell you why it's so important to have um, a goal to achieve every year. Now, last week I talked about I'm not really big on that because I don't set a goal every year. I set a, I do set a goal, but it doesn't have to be on the new year. It doesn't have to be every year. Of, oh my God, it's a new year. I want to do this. I want to do that. I do it either every three months or every six months, whichever, uh, whenever I wanted to. And I know that is necessary for me to do. But I know that a lot of you are used to setting a goal in to, like every year, which is fine too. It doesn't matter what it is as long as you have a goal and that's it, the first step towards success. But if you have any question about that, please send me a question. I will be more than happy to answer your question. Thank you so much for watching me. For those of you who are watching me on the repeat, thank you so much for watching. So these are some of my strategies that I'm going to share with you um, that worked very, very well for me as far as goal setting goes. Um, and this year, this year is an amazing year and We've been through a lot last year was very challenging and i know we're just i noticed that a lot of people are running out of energy in general what well, in new york is winter time so when it's a winter time it gets dark very earlier and you can't really do uh, a lot of activity outdoor activities um so you kind of get like you know in that mood of like all you do is work and you come home and you just feel like you're stuck in that routine of yours and I know for a couple of days I was like that too just because in New York is very I, I love to be outdoor I love to go hiking I love to run I love to do all this stuff but when it gets too cold yeah you're working in the gym you're working at home but it's indoor everything is indoor so that itself can actually bring your energy down so first and foremost I want to just put that out there and tell you guys that if you feel that you're exhausted if you feel that you're tired if you feel that every day looks the same it's not only because winter, but also last year was really, really tough year for everybody. And even if then nothing happened to you, if you still have your job, thank God your family was okay. Just hearing about it on, on the news, just with the whole collective energy that a lot of people uh, lost their uh, loved ones, lost their jobs, and there's so much going on. It's enough to make you feel like, oh my God, what else now, right? It's absolutely normal. So I want you to know that it's normal. If you feel that way, that's okay. Because it's just not you. It's almost everybody's facing, the whole world is facing this. But the good news is that 2021 is here. So what can we do? What can we do to make this year a best year for you? And the reason I say it's for you is that every individual has their own desire, their own needs, their own dreams, their own goals. It has nothing to do with anybody else. It has everything to do with you. What is good for you what makes you happy what what do you have to do this year in order to say when well, you know what this year was good year for me so that's something that you really really should think about because a lot of time our goal setting is based on what people want so I'm really really big on that for those of you who do not know me are first time watching me um, I came from a country that a uh, women were not allowed to go to school then had an opinion um, was just you know doing whatever men t used to tell them to do or family or culture or religion and all of that so a lot of time we set our goal based on other people's opinion, based on how it makes our family happy, our parents, our upbringing, um, our religion perspective, and all of that stuff can sometimes get that. And then you do accomplish that goal, and it's not really for you. Even though you're trying so hard and you get it once you're there, you're like, well, you know what, even though I did it, but it's not really making me happy. So that's something that I face a lot, and I know, and I encourage everybody to set a goal, what is good for you, what makes you happy. And once you can actually say that to yourself, then it's easy to set a goal and then achieve it and then become successful, whatever successful means to you.
So a couple of things let's go talk about. I'm going to give you three strategy when you set a goal. Number one, obviously, obviously, obviously. Number one, what is the goal that you're setting? And is that goal good for you? For you, not for your uh, mom, not for your dad, not for your friends, not for your boss, not for your coworker. Is it good for you? You have to know that. And how do we know that? Because life is being so hectic. We are so being busy. What we need to do is that take some time for yourself. Take some time and meditate. Meditate and learn about yourself and go in that calmness of your inside. That little voice inside of you can actually pretty much guide you all the time. Our mind, body, and soul practically talk to us if we are willing to listen. And the way to listen to shut off all other noises from outside. All those little voices, whether you're watching the news, the social media, our parents, our friends, our family, all those noises that comes in. And we can't stop that all the time, but you really deliberately have to make time to say to yourself, okay, if I wanted to set a goal that is good for me, what do I like? Because you see, a lot of time people don't know what they want. They do things for other people. So you really have to know that. And you can't do that with going everyday life. You can't just go about your life and then learn what you like about yourself. It requires you to take some time for yourself. If you have to do journaling, then do journaling. If you have to do meditation, do do meditation. If you have to do have your me time, do that. Whatever is convenient for you, whatever is comfortable for you, spend some time with yourself. A lot of time when I want something, I just have to be by myself. I have to meditate. I have to ask the question. And I ask myself these three questions all the time. And I talked about this, this question last year. What is working for me? So if I wanted to set up a goal for something like I wanted to come, you know, get more healthier, lose some weight, right? What is working for me? What is not working for me? And what is my next step? And I ask myself this question every time when I'm alone. So I do a lot of time through the meditation, okay? Because when you ask yourself this question, you are being truly honest to yourself. You're not blaming anybody. You're not expecting anybody to do anything for you. You're just simply in tuning within yourself. Okay, I wanted to lose 10 pounds, right? I wanted to lose 10 pounds, 15 pounds, 20 pounds, whatever it is. Wait, okay, what is working for me? You know, what is working for me right now? Am I, am I able to go to the gym? Am I able to work out? Am I able to buy a, uh, organic food and eat it? Am I able to be drinking water? All of that, put all of it down. What is not working for me? I'm hanging out with people, I'm drinking every night, I'm eating junk food, I'm working too much and I'm ordering out a lot. Whatever it is, write it down. What is not working for me? And then, what is your next step? Because this is where people get stuck. Because we know what do we want. I, I, I emphasize on this a lot. I tell people this all the time. When people tell me, this is what I want. I know, we know what do we want. And some of you even know what the problem is. Girl, I know what my problem is, okay? I need to lose 10 pounds. Okay, got it. I can talk about it all year I want, but if I don't do anything about it, it doesn't change anything. So the, the, the last step that what is my next step is the most important part of it. Because once you do that and you write down, okay, well, this is what I have to do. I have to work at least uh, three times a week minimum. I have to drink this much water. I have to cut down on these food. Then you're coming up with a really good solution within yourself. And as more importantly, it's realistic, it's doable. So that's why it's so important. The number one thing on a goal setting too, you have to ask yourself, what do I want? And if you wanted to do that in the full category of your health, uh, relationship, career, and finance, then that's what you have to do. Go on those areas and do. Step number two, do not do too many things at one time. A lot of people, they get so excited when the new year comes in. Okay, I want to lose weight. I want to find a boyfriend. I want to find a girlfriend. I want to find a partner. I want my job to be good. I want to make a lot of money. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. It's impossible to do all of that in one shot. It's not going to work. It's going to exhaust you. And that's why a lot of people go back and stop whatever they goal that they had. At first of the year, even three, four months, they're really good. They're up and running. And Okay, I got this. I'm doing this every single day. And then... They run out of energy and they go back down. So pick one thing, pick one thing that is really, really important to you, okay? One thing. This year, I want to stop smoking, okay? This year, I wanted to drink more water. This year, I wanted to go outdoor more. 
whatever it is, that one thing. Make sure that one thing is specific, make sure it's measurable, make sure it's realistic, and make sure it's doable. Because if you're making a goal, and if you can't achieve it every year, that disappointment alone, it's so hard. Because, I gotta move my hair because I don't want to speak. Um, because when you, we consider ourselves a failure. I wanted to do this, I set a goal, I did it for a little bit, but then I went down, life took over. No, because you're putting too much on your plate. So you have to do a little bit at a time. Where, where is the rush? Just a little bit at a time. What is the most important thing this year for you? I know for a lot of people is the health. Health is the number one thing. Um, a study shows that people, um, I think it's about like 2 million people a day um, go on Google and, and they look on about the health after New Year's. Because everybody wants to get healthy, everybody wants to lose weight, but then it just goes down. And you have to make it realistic. You have to make it that how is that really fit your lifestyle? So, for example, like a lot of dietitian, a lot of uh, coaches saying that, well, you have to eat organic. Well, I don't know, can I afford to buy organic food? Because I mean, guys, organic food is very expensive, right? Can I can I afford to do that? And if I don't, if I can't afford to eat organic food, what is the substitution for that? What else I could do? to keep myself healthy. And these are the stuff that we have to talk about because I noticed that and I go and do such, a lot of people give you advice, but some of them are not really good for you and for your lifestyle. So when you do the step one, what is good for me, then the step two is like, okay, I'm not gonna put a bunch of stuff on my bucket. I'm just gonna do one thing at a time. And then we go through the question again. Okay, well, I wanted to find love this year. I wanted to find love this year. I wanted to be with somebody this year. What are the steps that I have to do? You know, what are the steps? I be very, very specific. Do I have to go on the app? Do I have to go out more? Do I have to hang out with my friends? What What is there that you need to do in order to accomplish that? And stay focused on your goal, one thing at a time. Because once you accomplish that, your self-esteem goes up, your confidence goes up, and then you can go ahead and add another one. That's why I don't do it every New Year's. I don't, do, you know, I don't set a goal every year. I do it one task at a time. Okay, what is there? So last year, despite all the stuff that happened, for me, the hardest thing that was happening that I was really, really kind of gaining weight because I got my menopause and it was just like I was going, and I still do, um, that was my focus. So I said to myself, okay, I'm going to stop gaining weight. And I'm not talking about losing weight. I'm just going to stop gaining weight. So then, you know, I figure out what I need to do to stop it first. Once I stop it, then I can go and say, okay, now I'm going to go back to my weight that I desire, that I want. Which I'm still working on it, but that's what it is. Little step at a time. Don't overwhelm yourself with too much. Don't get too excited and overwhelm yourself with too much because you will burn out. Life is already so busy. You know, we have to care for ourselves. We have to care for our family. We have a job. We have to care about our bills. We have to care about all this stuff. There's so much in life already. And people tell us that you have to eat healthy. You have to have sleep. You have to have that. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot. Just sit back and say to yourself, okay, this is a small goal, but if I accomplish it, then you know what? Then I, then I add another one. Don't have to wait for the next year and add another one because you know you can do it. And once you learn that skill, that if I can do one thing, okay, I did that, I accomplished it, I feel great about myself, my confidence is high, now I'm going to the next step. What is the next goal? That could be in the middle of the year, that could be two months from now, that can be six months from now, whether it's personally or professionally, that's how it gets done. That's why I don't like a lot of people that going and all these commercials at 2021 and start fresh, start fresh, start fresh. I am fresh, I'm always fresh. Every time you, you want to set a goal and you want every time you want to accomplish something, you're fresh. You're resetting yourself. So it's important to remember that. Third one and the most important one. And here's what I learned and here's the advice that I want to give you. Hi, hon. How are you? Uh, I don't have my glasses on, so uh, I'm going to definitely read your stuff, but I see you. Um, the most important thing is that, okay, if you are setting a goal, and if there's something that you know exactly what it is that you want, but you know you can't do it alone this year, do not hesitate to get help. Do not hesitate to get help. Because a lot of time we wanted to wear 20 hat at the same time. And that doesn't work. Sometimes things that other people know we don't know. That doesn't mean we're like, not enough. That doesn't mean we're not capable of. It's just like everybody has their own life. 
Everybody's doing their own thing. Some people are good at one thing, other people are good at something else. That's why these coaches are going out there and telling you, hey, listen, you have to do this, you have to do that, because some of them are good. Like for example, for me, I'm a coach, I'm a life coach, okay? I teach people, people tell me, well, what is a life coach? A life coach is a personal coach for your brain, literally for your thoughts. It just organizes your thoughts. That's all, that's what we are. Because you have so much stuff going on and we, as an outsider, life coach comes in and say, hey, wait a minute, you have all the cards, let's put them together and let's just straighten them up and clean up a little bit and then that's what, that way you can function much better. That's really what life coach is. So a personal coach is telling you what area of your body you have to work in order to get that result. A dietitian will tell you what exactly eat to take this test, let's see your hormone level and, and you have to eat certain, you have to eat more carb, less carb, more meat. Like, because there's so much information out there, you can't possibly do everything on your own. So if you really want to accomplish, if you're really serious about your goal this year and want to see success, if you need help, get that help. If you really, because I see, I hear a lot of people saying that, okay, um, I want to find love this year. I want to find, I want to be in a relationship this year. Okay, what are you doing to be in that relationship? What have you done that did not work for you? What are you doing to be on that relationship? Are you putting yourself out there? Are you talking to people? Are you talking to a, a relationship coach? What is there that you're doing? Because obviously whatever you did did not work. So change your strategy. And that's one of the things that you have to do when it comes to goal setting. And I've been doing this every single year and I've been doing this with every of my clients because we ask ourselves the question, we're being honest to ourselves. Yeah, I want to love, but you know what? I'm not going out. I'm not on the app, I'm just sitting, because nobody's gonna come knock on the door and say, hey, I'm here, come and be in a relationship. And it's so obvious, we all know it. I'm not telling you something that you don't already know, you already know it. But to see result in your goal is to actually say, mm, I tried A, B, C, D, did not work, it's time for me to ask for help. And that could be with your health, that could be with your relationship, that could be with your career or business, and that could be with your finance. What is there that I have done? Because as a human uh, uh, being, we are so used to um, knowing what we want, knowing the problem, we talk about what we want, we talk about the problem, but we don't come up with a strategy of what needs to be done. That third step, we always forget. And if we do it, we do it for a little bit and we go down because all these other things comes up and we're making excuses. So this is how it gets done. I don't want you to fall off the wagon this year, okay? Despite what's going on out there, I know life is hard. Life is not easy. Life is never going to be easy. But life is easy when you make it for yourself, what is good for you, what, how, how you want to feel, how you want to look. And it can be anything. As long as you're happy with it, then that's what matters. Don't worry about what other people think of it, okay? How is your relationship? Do you want to be in a relationship or get out of the relationship? If it's good for you, then do that about your career? Do you love your job? Do you get up every morning and say, you know what? I don't make a lot of money, but I love my job. Or like, I do a lot. I don't make money, so I don't hate my job. Whatever it is, be honest with yourself. Set a goal this year. Make sure the goal is not too much, not too many things in one time. And then if you really, really need to ask for help, go out there. And if that's important to you, then get help because that will expedite the process. And it doesn't mean that you don't know. It doesn't mean that you're less of a person that because you're asking for help. No, it's just that sometime one person is very good at one thing and the other one is not. There's a lot of things that I'm not good at. There's a lot of things that I'm not good at. And I ask people that are good at it and I ask for the help and I apply what they tell me because I don't have time to be good at everything. Nobody is good at everything. And there's no shame in that. So this year, if you want to achieve your goal, for your success, no matter what that is, stay consistent. Make sure you remind yourself. Make sure it's, it's something that is doable, that is good for you. And then that's how you get the result. And once you get the result, that will make you so much happy. And you're going to learn the process. And you're going to do it over and over and over again. And you're going to create a life that you absolutely love. Meanwhile, because of this, I created a, a platform that calls Love Your Life. And this platform, we have coaches from all over the world, expert about relationship, health, uh, money mindset, lifestyle, parenting, and all of that. If you have a goal this year, and if you really need the help with that goal, then go ahead, check the link, register for that program, and we're here to help you. Not myself only, but so many other experts that are really uh, specialized in those areas. 
that can help you achieve your goal this year. So if you're really serious about that, I have this program. I created this program just because of this. Because like I said, we can't be good at everything. I'm actually doing my own program to my own self. So go ahead, check that out. Um, and hope to you guys can join us this year. We hold you accountable. We give you all the tools, strategy, and technique that you need in order to achieve that goal. So make sure this year is your best year. Um, make sure that don't forget your important, your needs, your desire, your dream is important. Um, don't give up on yourself. It's possible. Whatever you wanted to accomplish is possible. All you have to do is just do some adjustment. And that's coming from a life coach telling you, okay? Because that's what life coaches do. Thank you so much, guys, for watching me. If you have any questions, please do send me a question. I'd be more than happy to answer. Meanwhile, I'll see you guys next week. And have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful weekend. And enjoy yourself. Winter is almost done. And get yourself ready for that summer. Okay? Bye.